Hello, we are going to do a one year update on the 2018 Polaris Razor XP 1000. <clears throat> so I've had it about a year. Uh, it's been pretty good. Well, it's been really good. Uh, let's see. We'll see. Uh, show you how many hours and miles it has on it. It has 140 hours on the engine and 749 miles. Um, everything's done really good. The brake pads, the factory brake pads lasted about 500 hours. No. It was close to that. Um. I bought some cheap ones off of eBay after that. I got paid $30 for all of them, and they only lasted one ride, so don't buy the cheap ones. Uh, I ended up going back and buying the Polaris ones. Um, but I've heard the Super ATV ones are really good. Uh, I've added a few things. I added the mirror, which I need to take the plastic off the rear view mirror. Uh, just the grab handles to hold on to. Uh, parking brake is really good for when you have to park on hills. You just put that on and it goes in and out of gear real easy. I put it on my trailer and put that on. Usually I don't even strap it down. Um, recently I had to add the A-arms. Um, my wife hit a tree somehow and broke the lower A-arm. So... I just figured why I was going to do that, I'd put axles in it. So I put the Rhino 2.0s, I think they have a year and a half warranty. The A-arms are from Super ATV, there's like 550 bucks. I uh, already had all the bushings and I got them with the ball joints already installed. I think it was like 560. I'd have to look, but they also have a lifetime warranty. Uh, they're bigger and have more uh, bracing, cross bracing in them. But they have a lifetime warranty against bending or breaking. So I shouldn't have any problems. The winch is done pretty good. I've, I've pulled a few people out and I've pulled myself out a few times. The rope, the rope's held up pretty good. Um, once you hit the tree, it cracked the factory rim, which I got fixed so I'd have spares. But I figured it was a good time to go ahead and upgrade. I got 30 inch tires. They're uh, 30, 10, 14. They're Maxxis carnivores. And I went ahead and got the STI HD9 wheels. They also have a lifetime warranty against bending or breaking and like a 1200 pound load capacity on each wheel. Uh, I think we've put about 100 miles on the tires on the trails um, and you really can't even tell I haven't ridden it on the road with these tires but uh, they do really good in the trails I only put I put about 16 pounds of air in them just cuz you don't I don't never need low tire pressure or whatever but um, you can't even tell that I've ridden on them really and we we've went to uh, we went to a couple places and it's real rocky, big limestone rocks and creek rocks and tree roots and you can't even tell they've, and it, it seems like the rubber's really soft, but it, it's done really good. So I'm happy with those and it, they look pretty good. They look really good. I got the red beadlock rings and it also came with the black ones. If I ever want to change it out. Um, I haven't had any problems out of the belt. I ride around in low gear. Um, usually the only time I go in high gear is when I'm riding out through the country. Or riding around my yard. So, And I always, every time when we get back, I take the belt cover off and blow it out. And the belt still looks really good. Haven't had any problems out of the axles or anything. 
I only changed the front ones just because I already had it all apart. So I'll probably be doing the back ones sometime here soon. Uh, the whips have held up pretty good. Uh, I know that some people with the same whips, they can change my colors and stuff, but I don't care about that. I know there's a way to fix it. I just haven't done it. I've only had one little uh, incident where I slid into a tree and had to put some stitches in it. But I did pretty good with the stitches. Um, I'm going to get the Super ATV fender flares that go over these. They mount over them and they stick out like five additional inches. Because that's the only thing I hate is all the mud that flies up. I tried these little uh, these little mud flaps. It was like 30 bucks on eBay. And they helped a little. But it still flings way too much mud. So... Sometime I'm going to get those fender flares and they'll stick out a lot more. Um, the seat belts are awesome. Instead of the regular just one seat belt, I, I got the Polaris ones. And most of the, most of the five-point harnesses you put in here, you can't. It doesn't have retractable. So these are, these are really good. Uh, overall, it's, like I said, it, me, me and my wife go right around and, I mean, we go up big hills and nasty trails. I don't really go through any deep water or mud. It hasn't been in water and mud over the tires, so, I mean, I try and take care of it. I know some people just, just are really rough with them, but, uh, for me, it's held up pretty good. I haven't had any problems. I changed the oil. I've changed it sooner than what the book says. And then usually after every riding trip, um, I'll grease, I'll put a couple shots of grease in the, all the wheel bearings. And I haven't had any any problems so far. It's It's been pretty good. Uh, I know it gets hot in there in the summer. I'm guessing because the radiators, and the fans blowing it right back. But I did notice when I took the I took all my ball joints out of the old uh, A-arms and they was starting to get pretty bad so I don't know how much longer they would have lasted. But I went ahead and had Super ATV put in the uh, heavy duty ones when I got the A-arms so it, it came all ready to install and it was, it was really easy. They got uh, grease fittings in them. This one up here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. That one's kind of hard to get to, but I uh, already had all the bushings and everything in it, and it it didn't take me long to to put them in. It was actually pretty easy. If you, if you've messed with the brakes and the wheel bearings, then you pretty much got it. A couple of the bolts are hard to get to on them, but I just had one of my buddies help me and. It feels a little different driving it through, uh, through the high clearance A-arms. And I got the wheels, I got the stock offset. So I didn't want them to stick out more to throw more mud. But it, I can tell a little difference with all the tires being the same size. But like I said, I, we go slow through the trails. So it, uh, it's worked pretty good. It's, it's been a pretty good, uh, pretty good unit. I'd like to have the turbo, but you really don't need it, and I didn't want to spend the extra money. So the the tree sliders of rock sliders, whatever, have worked good, saved me a few times. Uh, it other than that, I, I haven't really had any problems with. It. I changed the oil like I'm supposed to, and the rear end fluid, and the front differential. Uh, I mean, you can you can see it's a year old, and I mean it's. It's been brown, you know, just from riding in the rain and the mud, but I mean, I clean it. I try and get all the mud off the skid plate. I know I got a buddy that takes his skid plate off every time he washes it, which I don't do that. I just, takes me a little while longer, but I mean, you can see it's, it's pretty clean. And the plastic, this is what I use. I use this stuff on the outside after I'm done and it dries and you can see I mean it looks it looks like a new 
a new unit and it's a year old so um i like these bags it keeps my legs from hitting and it's got speakers under the door it, it's got the ride command uh i went to menards and got uh some of these led light strips for at night so we can see what we're doing putting our seat belts on if we need to find something and they're actually I can I can ride with them on and it doesn't bother me too much and they're but they're bright enough to see what you're doing in there. Uh, and I take the seats out when I clean it and this is where you, the winch is done pretty good. Uh, it was a Polaris winch. I I put it in myself was probably the biggest pain in the butt because the bumper mounts up to where the winch mounts the plate or whatever but and the bumpers bent a little bit where my wife hit the tree but I'm not it doesn't hurt it so I checked all the bolts and made sure they was tight here's a good look at the tires I've heard mixed reviews on the tires some people like them some people don't uh, I think they do awesome you know the the big horns did good but if you're looking for just a little more, these do really good. I know there's some tires that are 10 ply. These are eight. Um, like I said, I run like 16, 18 pounds of air in them. And I haven't had any problems. Again, I've only put about 100 miles on them. But, I mean, you, I was expecting to see chunks out of them from all the rocky stuff that we went through. But you can't even hardly tell that I've ridden on them. So, they, uh, I think I'm going to like them. Other than that, I just, uh, I make, I clean the air filter every time. Uh, I've replaced it once, but I make sure I clean it every time that we go riding. It's, uh, I'd like to get a HMF exhaust. I don't know if my wife would like that because of how loud it would be, but they do sound really awesome. Uh, I've adjusted the shocks up a little bit this helper spring or whatever so so it helps take some of the Take some of the work. I need to adjust it up a little more But let me know uh, what you think and if you've had any problems out of yours again, it's a 2018 uh, XP 1000 And it's uh, it's been really good so far I guess you get, uh, depends on how you treat your stuff. And like I said, I, I take really good care of it just because it was so expensive. And it's something me and my wife enjoy to go do when we get a break from the kids. We can go ride around and hang out. She doesn't, she has a four-wheeler, but she doesn't like to ride it anymore. So uh, let me know what you think. Thank you.